Hey traders, in this video, we're gonna talk about trading storybooks, some of the best that are out there. Stay tuned. Hey guys, very warm welcome to you. Thank you for joining me. All right, so I kind of categorize trading books into three. You have the textbook types trading that go through strategies. I've got lots of charts in there, got lots of different setups and stuff. There are ones that I've got kind of on my live from ages ago, like the complete day trader, uh, Taylor trading technique. And they're great from a perspective of perhaps getting a bit of inspiration to uh, get a new strategy or tweak and adjust the strategy you've got and see how uh, other ideas and stuff, and they, they, they play a role. Then you've got the trading psychology book, so Brett Steenbar, just superb uh, trading psychologist uh, amongst many others out there. Uh, Denise Schull as well. Uh, you know, these, these are good books and they approach it from a mindset perspective, from discipline, from all the trading psychology. This is a massive subject on its own. Um, very, very useful books to have. Then you, so you've got a third category. And for me, that's a trading storybook. So it's normally uh, written about or by a great trader or successful trader that's kind of right in the thick of the career or uh, you know at the peak of their career, perhaps their uh, different stage of their career or whatever. The point is they've gone through uh, a lot of journey in their trading. They've found a lot of success in their trading and they're really interesting to me because each story is obviously unique to the person, the journey they've had, and they're all very, very different, different markets they've traded, how they've gone into the markets, and what they've traded, how they've traded, whether they've run funds, whether they've traded for themselves, whether they've traded in a kind of prop environment, all these kind of different things. Uh, there's a lot of similarities as well. So you start to note down the similarities of what uh, the attributes of great trading, and you can work on them more yourself. So the perseverance, the patience, the sitting on hands, the risk management, all these kind of things. But yet there's a lot of different things in each story that's very unique to the person. So you can think, right, well, I kind of very good at this. Let me try and get good at this and better at this. So I think they're really, and they're entertaining as well because obviously they're talking about anecdotes and stories from their trading career. So I've got a few for you here, guys. If you've got any more that I've missed out, then please you know, stick in the comment section below. I know there's lots of ones out there that perhaps aren't as popular, so they don't get recommended on Amazon and they're not heard of, but it's some few hidden gems out there and a few guys have recommended books before that I've gone out. Ah, I've not seen that, got it, got it, and it's been a fantastic book. So, you know, stick them in the comment section below. If you've got a, a kind of storybook that's a trading related storybook, uh, that's not in this list. Okay, first one, of course, everyone knows this, Reminiscence of a Stock Operator. I've got multiple different versions for, for whatever reason. Um, this is a well-thumbed copy. Superb book, one of the classics. We've talked about this many times before. Loads and loads of lessons from this. Uh, Jesse Livermore, uh, no to spoil the book, but very, very good book. And, and just even though it's set you know, many years ago, so many of the lessons are so, so important. Got to be a little bit careful because the ending wasn't so great for him, but, uh, nevertheless, the, the kind of wealth accumulation and the trading and, and lots of the lessons are very, very useful uh, to kind of take into account today as well. So the second one is The Day Trader from Pit to PC. Um, a little bit less known, but great book nevertheless. Uh, Luis Borsellino used to be a um, local in the S&P 500 pit, one of the biggest locals in there. A very successful trader, talks a little bit about his journey from going from the pit uh, to the PC, obviously, that's what it's called that. Number three, Pitbull, one of my favorite books. Uh, this is uh, Marty Schwartz, talks again about this uh, a trader, very, very specialist trader, aggressive trader, uh, a very good kind of um, traditional type trader, if you like. So just focus purely on the aspect of making money, not not going too deep into analysis, not um, you know thinking too much about the market. From my perspective, is what I get from. I don't know the guy, but this is kind of thing he was really literally just looking at patterns in the market, spotting things, opportunities, and then just hitting them as aggressively as he could, and not thinking too much about it. And you know, very successful with that uh, approach. And interesting as well, a couple of these guys talk about managing uh, other people's money, which is, uh, I think, quite of interesting, uh, especially if you're into that or considering doing that kind of thing. Right, third one, and the fit, well, uh, sorry, the fourth one, guys, Inside the House of Money. This is really a uh, trading interview, so it's very similar to the Market Wizard series. I love the Market Wizard series. You probably uh, have uh, at least read one of them. There's many, and there's another one coming out soon as well. Um, not necessarily stories as such, but I kind of put them in that category because they're not psychology, they're not textbooks. And, you know, Jack Schwager, particularly the Market Wizards, is very good at coaxing out stories as well uh, from some of the traders. He's very good at interviewing them and getting 
interesting uh, little anecdotes about trades and about you know lessons and stuff. So I, I consider them trading storybooks. Any of the market wizard books are worth getting. In fact, they're all worth getting. Hedge fund market wizards I particularly enjoyed. And also this one as well, Inside the House of Money, very, very similar type book. Uh, it's you know literally talking to hedge fund managers. I think it's all hedge fund managers. It's been a while since I've uh, read this. Uh, but again, similar type of thing, stories, anecdotes, etc. And the final one I've got for you guys, I've got it here, is Linda Bradford Rushke, one of my all time favorite uh, traders trading sardines. Great little storybook. I don't think you can get it on Amazon yet. I think I'll get it from her site. I've talked about this exclusively before, so I won't go uh, too much into it or spoil it for you. But again, a bit of a story uh, about, well, a story uh, really about uh, her career as a trader, how she started out, some of the things she's done wrong, some of the kind of personal aspects of trading, some kind of great stories about trades that went right, trades that went wrong. Just a nice, good book to have and to kind of relax into and enjoy. Because we enjoy the markets, we enjoy hearing about trading. Sometimes we're in focus and learn mode, which is where we might come in with the operational type books and the psychology type books. But these storybooks are, you know, they're entertaining as well as educational from a trading perspective. So are well worth getting and picking up and kind of reading in your, in your downtime. Anyways, like I say, if you've got any stories, uh, books or trading storybooks that I've missed out, and you know, if you watch the video, you know what I mean by storybooks, stick in the comment section below. While you're down there, you know, check out our channel sponsor. Take care guys, see you in the next one, bye bye.